Okay guys, um, it's my birthday today, so I want to thank everyone for the heartfelt uh, birthday wishes. Uh, there have been a lot of them coming in so far, and they keep coming in, so I'm really, really grateful for all you guys, okay? Um, so being it's my birthday, um, some people don't like to work on their birthday, but uh, to me, that's actually a birthday present, so here I am. Um, I want to go over today about uh, the upright row. Okay, this is a movement a lot of people do incorrectly. Um, so a lot of people typically will hold their hands very close together and they will bring it up like, like this. Now, in doing so, what's happening is that you are internally rotating your shoulder, your rotator cuff, you're pinching it, okay? It's it, it, internally rotating it. And that's not really something you want to do uh, with weight anyway, okay? Um, so the better way to do it, after more shoulder activation anyway for that side head there, is you want to have a wider uh, grip, okay? So more like here. Now you can do it with a dumbbell or uh, with a pair of dumbbells or a barbell. And you, what you want to do is you want to bring it to a roughly uh, head height, about the level of your eyebrows on the top of your head. And what you want to do is you want to envision that you're a puppet. And you have puppet strings in your elbows and someone's lifting you up. Your elbows are leading the way, okay? So, a pair of dumbbells here. So it's up like that, see? Now with dumbbells, you can actually change the, the um, width of your hands, of course. You bring it close together here and then up here. It's something like a lateral raise, but not quite. Lateral raise is directly to the side, all right? Directly out there, right? This is more up in front. So from the, from the side, it's like this, see? So it's a little bit, probably 10, or 12 inches away from your face, maybe. Okay? Like that, okay? And when you do it this way with a wide grip, you feel it right away on that side down. It's, it's, it's real killer. Okay? So right there. Right? You see it's uh, level at the top of my head. I'm not sure if the, ang the angle of my uh, camera there is uh, correct. But anyways, it's hitting a little on top of my head here, okay? Okay, so there's kind of a modified upright row. That's the way uh, Vince Gironda used to uh, teach it. Uh, not too many people know about that now, but uh, um, I, I follow all the uh, old school stuff, okay? As well as new stuff, I'm not, uh, not that, that old yet, okay? And, um, and the other variation is what I call a dumbbell pull-in, okay? And this is, you wanna, the, the motion here is you wanna picture the dumbbells going up and back, like you're, Almost like, like your elbow is somebody behind you. Up and back, your elbows are coming right behind you and you're pulling them in. So you get that little upright row and then that kind of rear extension there, okay? So here, up and in, up and in. The side, up, in, up. Okay. Okay. So there's two variations of the upright row for you to try. There's the wide grip one when it comes up to the top of your head, and then there's the pull in. So dumbbell upright row, wide grip upright row, and the dumbbell pull in. It can be both can be done with a barbell or dumbbell. I prefer dumbbells because the hands can move freely and they can change the uh, hand width. Like I was saying before, like here, up, here, up, and and here up as well, but a barbell works just fine as well, um, or even a, a body bar, okay? So anyways, I hope this uh, helps. Uh, give it a shot. The next time you train your shoulders, uh, you will uh, really, really feel it. I, I can, I'll tell you that for sure, okay? If you like this video and want to see some more other, please visit my website at www.chriswongfitness.com. Also follow me on social media, Chris Wong Fitness, and uh, Facebook, I'm the in-home trainer also, okay? So, thanks guys.